So there are lots of talks whether Messi uh, deserved the award or not, whether Haaland should have actually won the award or not. And uh, talking about the award ceremony, uh, Kevin, I know that you are a big fan of uh, Messi as well and he won the uh, FIFA Men's Player of the Year Award for 2023. Well, it's the third award that Messi won uh, since 2019. He won it in 2019, uh, 2022 and 2023, two consecutive years uh, this time. So there are lots of talks whether Messi uh, deserved the award or not, whether Haaland should have actually won the award or not. Uh, but end of the day, when Messi is nominated to an uh, award ceremony, it's almost certain that he'll win it because uh, he is widely regarded by most as the greatest player of all time. and. Uh, and this time it was so close, both players ended up in 48 points each uh, after the end of votings and uh, they had to uh, find a winner through the votes uh, given by the captains of the national team and uh, unfortunately for Haaland he fell short in that and Messi got the most votes and uh, some of the big names that voted for Messi are Kylian Mbappe, uh, Luka Modric, uh, Valverde. Uh, Luka Modric and Valverde being Real Madrid players, no one would have expected them to uh, vote for Messi. But anyhow, they ended up voting for them. So, end of the day, Messi has won the third uh, FIFA Men's Player Award since 2018. And unfortunately for Haaland, he just fell short by the barest of margins. And uh, there's still more time for Haaland uh, to win more awards because he's still young, still 21, 22 years old. And there's Mbappe as well who will be uh, challenging him for that. So... Uh, let's wait and watch what happens. <laughs>